And what about Garbo's performance in this movie? Well, Garbo had uh, been taken to America by uh, Louis B. Mayer or whoever, uh, and was uh, the uh, person they decided was going to be the the, the queen actress of uh, what they regarded as the, uh, the the premier studio in Hollywood, uh, and her first films were. Uh, mainly historically based and uh, perhaps rather serious and in most cases rather tragic. Uh, Anna Karenina being one of the parts uh, that she played and then she also played uh, Maria Valeska, uh, the uh, story about a, a love affair with Napoleon played by Charles Boyer uh, and um, Queen Christina uh, which was uh, set in Sweden. Um, and I think her, the, the, the box office returns didn't quite live up to expectations. I think the films did respectably, but I think they played mainly in the, uh, in the upper end of the market uh, and, and they didn't have the mass appeal. Uh, and so I think they had come to the conclusion uh, that she needed to make a comedy uh, to broaden the base of her uh, popularity uh, and th th they were going to give her the best available backup team, in other words Lubitsch uh, and uh, Wilder and Brackett uh, together with Melvin Douglas who was a very expert uh, comedian uh, and, and uh, Sig Ruman and, and uh, Isabella Lugosi, um, uh, playing supporting roles uh, so that uh, she would have uh, the maximum and I think uh, there is no doubt that she did prove to be a brilliant comedian and it is a pity that they didn't manage to uh, uh, assemble the same sort of talent for other of her films and of course it was only about uh, four years later that she uh, packed up and uh, went, went to live in New York and never made another film. Uh, if only she had had the, uh, uh, the sort of uh, talent that uh, produced uh, Ninochka, uh, then maybe her career would have uh, lasted longer, but uh, that's purely speculative.